Hey guys, long time no see. Captain Nick here with Marine Max in St. Pete at Marine Max St. Pete for a change. How about that? And uh, Keith, what are we talking about today? Captain Keith here with Marine Max for Clearwater. Uh, today we're going to just go over some basic trailer maintenance, some things you want to look for on your trailer, take care of to keep it in good shape, but also something you want to make sure you look at before you take off and head to the ramp. This is a 19 SPX outboard by Sea Ray, and this has a swing tongue. So it's actually really convenient so you can stow this in your garage because it'll shorten it up. But this will slide around. You've got a pull pin right here. You want to make sure that this cotter pin, one, is on it, and two, that the pin's in there. Now you see when I go to shut this, these wires are starting to bunch up in here. So make sure you kind of push those back into there because you don't want to pinch any of that stuff off. Then you're going to drop the pin back through. A little lube on that will help it as well. So then that will go down. And then make sure you put the cotter pin back in the hole before you head to the ramp. So make sure that's, that's in there. And then just one other little tidbit up while we're up here at the bow. Your winch handle, your crank for pulling a boat on the trailer. These things actually release. If I push down on this, I can wiggle this off of there. So a couple things. You want to make sure that when it is on here, that it's secured. You'll also notice there is a little hole here where you could put an additional cotter pin to keep that from accidentally slipping off of there. Um, a lot of times I just recommend if you take it off, leave it in your truck while you're out boating because more than likely, Occasionally it's happened that somebody else has lost one of these and they see yours and they borrow it and somehow they forget to give it back to you. So if you've got it, then you know you're not going to have to be searching for one yourself. What do you got, Nick? Thanks, Keith. So like we talked about, we've spent plenty of time on boat maintenance, on outboard engine maintenance, annual services and whatnot. But what we find is that the trailer is often overlooked and neglected, but it's just as important, if not more important, to be maintaining your trailer. Of course, right here we have a galvanized trailer by Sea Ray, and this is what's called a single axle trailer. You've got single axle trailers, which means you have one wheel, tandem axle, two axles, which means you have two wheels on each side, four wheels total, and of course on a larger boat you have triple axles. So this right here is a single axle trailer, of course some basic maintenance. Just like a car, you're gonna wanna check those lug nuts periodically. Then over here, you have your bearing in there in your hub. There's a cap that you're gonna pop off like that. Usually you're gonna need a little chisel or a flathead screwdriver. Then in here, just for some basic maintenance, you notice there's a little nipple right there where you're gonna put your grease gun and keep those hubs all greased up, keep them from overheating and blowing a hub because then you're really gonna have a bad time. I like to keep a jack in my truck, spare tire of course, maybe a four way for if you do need to switch a trailer out on the road, it's not a big deal at all. And um, you're gonna change it just like you would a car tire. Now, of course, I'm not a paid salesperson for this product. And I was actually turned onto it by a friend that doesn't work for Marine Max. And then I found out that we sell it by the gallon jug. So I thought that's pretty cool. This is called Salt's Gone right here. A lot of people use them, flush their engines spray all over their boat at the end of the day after using it in salt water and it chemically breaks down the salt and you know keeps all of your metals and stuff from corroding but what I found is it's even more important to use this on a trailer so first thing I do at the end of the day pull that trailer out of salt water right away I'm going to spray this all over the trailer you're going to keep that trailer frame from getting rusted up you're going to keep those axles from getting that rust and I mean, the boat's great and everything. It's gonna provide you a lot of great memories, but if you don't have a good trailer and working order, you're never gonna get to the boat ramp in the first place. So hopefully this all helps. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Stand by for some more boating tips videos and we'll see you on the water. One other thing, check your lights too before you go. Plug it in, take a walk around, hit your brakes, hit your hazards, hit your turn signals, all that kind of stuff. So stay safe out there. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys out on the water.